Jurgen Klopp's high-energy style started paying off big time in his second season at Dortmund. It would end with them back in Europe for the first time in seven years. Klopp and sporting director Michael Zorc were putting together a young team whose dynamism and success was now drawing crowds of around 80,000 to the stadium on a regular basis. Just soaking up that atmosphere is brilliant. It gives you goosebumps every time. And I know myself well enough to say that's not something that's going to go away. With the backing of that incredible support, Dortmund stormed at the table. New striker Lucas Barrios was making his mark from the off. And the club's home ground was becoming a regular fortress once again. The famous yellow wall was intimidating in its own right. 25,000 fans packed into Europe's biggest standing terrace. And then there was the tunnel. It's been something to savour in a fortnightly cycle ever since I arrived here. The thing is, our tunnel out onto the pitch is six foot five and a half inches high. I'm just under six four, so with studs on, I'd have to bend over. It's very dark. You can just see a bit of light at the end. And when you come out, it's like being born again every time, only with more applause. But you come out from darkness into light and there's this explosion of sound. You look around and it seems like there's 150,000 people on the terrace all going mad. But the season began on a distinctly dud note. Mats Hummels put Dortmund in front against Bayern, but the visitors stormed back to win 5-1 in the end. It remains Klopp's heaviest home defeat to this day. Things rapidly improved after that. Borussia's disciplined pressing and lightning-fast breakaways were earning them a growing collection of notable scalps. There was a 3-1 win at Champions Wolfsburg and a last gasp 3-2 victory at Köln. The team were now revealing their true potential, with Klopp directing operations from the touchline. Upper mid-table, with an ongoing upward tendency, that's what we need to be aiming for. And we have the chance, we've got what it takes to slip in there somewhere, the top five, maybe top six places. But that obviously takes a bit of luck as well. The good times were back in Dortmund. The Ruhr district giants had awakened from their slumber and were captivating the fans, if not their opponents, with their attacking dynamism. With the aid of a gifted and inexhaustible supporting cast, Barrios racked up 19 goals in the league, the best total in years for a Dortmund forward. The team were bang on course for a return to Europe and to something like their accustomed status. Above all, Dortmund need to be playing internationally. I just want that desire to be there, to be looking forward to running out onto a pitch somewhere in Europe on Thursdays, instead of sitting on the couch watching it. The 24th of April 2010, away to Nuremberg. Another pulsating encounter, ending in Dortmund's most significant win of the season. 3-2, with Barrios almost inevitably bagging the clincher. Significant because it took the men in black and yellow back onto the European stage. For Jurgen Klopp, it was another step in the right direction. But the best was yet to come. <laughs>